Hi YouTubers and thanks for joining me. Um, this is an unboxing of a uh, Corgi Major commercial vehicle. Um, Corgi Major made a series of commercial vehicles back in the 60s. They actually started manufacturing in 1957 and they produced a whole range of uh, trucks and semis and um, I've been collecting now since 2012 and as you do you surf the internet um, getting to know what's available and I only came across Corgi Major a couple of weeks ago when I was watching a YouTube video from uh, WTTFOR um, which is a, a great channel um, he is the king of Hot Wheels this guy um, if you haven't visited worth doing and uh, he he was given a uh, big box of die cast from a guy in Australia um, inside was a Corgi Major Tri-Deck car transporter and I just thought wow that's just so cool um, it more or less looked 164 scale and um, I started searching for one on eBay um, I have come across one and it's in the post on its way to me um, and in the meantime came across all the other trucks and semis that are in the Corgi Major series um, but um, I'm about to unbox a Ford uh, Tilt Cab H series um, Corgi Major number 1137 um, and this has been sent to me by eBay uh, Toy Torium and here we go so um, I'm always excited when a new package arrives and this will be the first time that I'll have ever seen a Corgi Major series um, the one that I've purchased is not in fantastic condition it's very play worn um, nicely well packaged by Toy Torium and let's check this out so here it is um, it's a heavy piece as they say so it's all die cast all metal from the good old days and in terms of scale on this one well I've got to say it is bigger than 164 um, I would put it at 160 um, but which which for me being trying to source 164 only is just a fraction disappointing but if I put a Hot Wheels car next to it um, I think you'll see that it's uh, not bad so here's a Porsche obviously commercial vehicles in real life are an awful lot bigger than cars um, I think yeah I mean the width on this is just slightly wider than than a true 164 but um, yeah yeah we'll let it pass um, so now I thought in the photographs that these doors were plastic sort of a shiny plastic but they're not they're made of tin by the look of it rather than die cast um, which is really nice, really nice touch. Um, I don't know whether they've got yellow marks here, whether that's paint chipping or or some discoloration. I'll check that out later. And is this detachable? I think it is. Right, there you go. So isn't this great? Actually, you know what? I can see some casting circles on, on the one at the back, so maybe it is actually plastic. Yeah, but it's it's nicely nicely done.
So Corgi Major Toys, articulated trailer, hopefully you can see that, made in Britain, made in Great Britain. And these doors open at the back. It's actually, in terms of build quality, you know, considering this is mid 60s, 35, 22, it's 57 years old. Yeah, this is really tightly constructed. Really nice. And Okay, that wheel, I don't want to force it for the minute. Oh, hang on. There you go. So this is uh, known as a Ford H series. Rubber tires, the rubber's quite hard. Nice straight axles and a little ladder, metal ladder on the side. And I heard somewhere that these are adjustable. Yeah, the mirrors are adjustable, would you believe? So they, they pivot. Wow, that's amazing. Um, I don't know what's happened to this horn. Okay. Inside, you've got a steering wheel and a bench seat. Massive steering wheel. Um, it's lost its mirror on this side. And half the stack by the look of it. And this lifts up to reveal the engine. And wow, it's even got a uh, fan at the front. That is, uh, that's amazing detail. I think that's made of plastic, that fan. So impressive. I can imagine being a kid in the 60s, receiving one of these brand new and thinking, wow, this is just such a cool toy. Nice back window. And there is something cool about this truck. Um, I was reading that Corgi Major wanted to produce uh, an American truck, so I, I guess it's an American Ford um, to to make use of the American market. Oh wow! So when you move that back, there's a little notch inside the here, which moves backwards and forwards. Okay. That firmly clicks together. So there you go. Let's see if this Porsche goes in. Yeah, it does, just. So in a second, I'm just going to get a true 164 trailer so you can see how it compares in size. So here we have a Volvo truck um, and a Royal Mail uh, curtain side trailer. Um, this product is made by Seiko. Um, it's seriously lightweight, but um, quite nicely detailed. Um, the rear of the trailer uh, has no opening, but... Um, using it here because um, it is accurate to 164 scale. So you can see for yourself how they compare. Um, this is, um, well I say it's accurate to 164, um, we're just going to measure it on camera. So the width of the Seiko trailer is uh, 40 millimeters, which if you multiply by 64, uh, comes to 2.58 
meters approximately, um, which is kind of round about the width of what they are in in real life. So um, the the red trailer is 164 correct, more or less. Um, and obviously you can see for yourself that this uh, major series is just a little bit larger. And if we put these two together, you can see for yourself how they vary. Um, there are some larger trucks, 164 larger than this, um, this Volvo, um, slightly wider, slightly taller. So um, there you go. I'd love to be uh, really happy about the scale of this. Um, but you can probably tell from my voice that, um, yeah, I just got a certain bit of hesitation because I, I just love it to be 164 scale accurate. Never mind, um, I've got it now um, and I'm going to enjoy having it. So um, fairly soon, guys, I've got um, I went went to town. Um, checking out all the other vehicles available from Corgi Major and uh, that Tridec transporter, which I mentioned earlier, uh, is on its way to me as well as a few others. So can't wait to share those with you. I'll probably make one big video of them all. And um, take care, happy diecast hunting and speak to you soon. Bye.